go ahead and get comfortable because I'm not comfortable. Okay. What's poppin' y'all? It's your girl Yasmin Lopez. And today I'm back with another video. I'm trying to stay consistent, but it's kind of hard, okay? Because, like, I, I get ready and then I, like, fall asleep and then I'm hungry and then I just procrastinate and then I never get a video done. But I posted on my channel, I mean, on my Instagram, I said, what kind of videos do y'all want to see? And this is a highly requested story time. So if you have not already read the title, this story is going to be about how I, let me stop, lost my opportunity. Um, I posted it and my mom had commented. Mom like lives through my little brother's Instagram. So she like watched all my stuff through his Instagram. She commented and was like, no, don't do that. So I hope she doesn't get mad when she sees this. I mean, I'm grown, but I still like want to respect my mommy. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead. And let me start. I'm breaking out, so it ain't cute. I was going to film when you're ready with me, but it failed. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. If you do not already, um, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, do not forget to subscribe, comment, like, and do all of that, and let me know what other videos y'all want to see. Okay? Yeah. So, I love you thinking that I need some coconut water to start this video off. I'm thirsty. Be right back. Hold on one second. walk to a spider web kids i've never seen so many kids outside y'all like people are bored and coconut water is expired don't taste like it usually does okay so let's go ahead and get started how i lost my virginity <laughs> okay so i'm nervous to talk about it i'm so nervous but whatever um basically um in high school i was i went to a ten, i went to a montessori school it's called countryside montessori if you don't already like know where i'm from i'm from north carolina Super southern country, like you're supposed to get trained in school, go to a good college, get married, have kids, work a regular nine to five. Not me. Okay, that has nothing to do with it. I'm out of breath. Basically, how do I start it off? Okay, the boy's name. Should I put it in here or should I bleep it out? His name was Jari Bryant. That's crazy how I remember his whole name, and I hope he doesn't see this video. He's gonna, he might feel special. But hey, Kadari. Kadari was like one of my crushes in high school. You ever look back and be like what why like somebody who you were head over heels with like it's crazy and then you think like five years ten years later like you don't even be worried about them anyway his name was Fedari Bryant he was older than me I don't know I think I was like hmm I don't know how old I was I had to be like 11th grade 11th grade was when I lost my virginity I saw I don't know how old you are at that age but I was in 11th grade I remember like being one of the girls where like all my friends were older than me so, my neighbor is like over there and I feel like he's listening, like being like, I don't know, in film. <laughs> okay, but I was in 11th grade. All my friends were older than me, so of course they're having sex. All my friends were like in college, grown, or like going to clubs and stuff. So I started going to clubs early, so I was already like, you know, in the mix. Or whatever you want to call it. So, this little boy's name is Kadari. I was head over heels over Kadari. Like, he was like my blue thing, or at least I thought he was. But my mama didn't like him. I don't know how she found out about him. I think she found out through a texting app that I was sneaking to text him off of. And yes, I was in 11th grade. My mother was super strict. She did not like want me to do anything. No boys. I was a bad kid. To come, like, I mean, I wasn't bad. It's just that she was so strict. So I wanted to try new things. And to try new things, I had to like, that's, that, not that were necessarily bad. I just wasn't allowed to. My mom's Puerto Rican, so you know, she wasn't having that. So. Even now, I would say we're dating, but not really, because I don't know if we claimed each other publicly. But like, if you went to school, everybody knew that like we fucked with each other, or we we messed with each other. We use better words. Yeah. Um. Of course, Kadari, he was already experienced, and he was already doing things that I was not doing. But I wanted to like do them too, because I mean, all my friends are talking about it. I'm like, oh, this thing called sex must it must feel good. Like everybody's doing it. Why should I not be doing it? Um, so, yeah, so what happened was, God help us, I remember how this happened. So, we had been messing around for a few months. Meanwhile, I'm a virgin who experienced here, you know what he's doing, but I don't even know how this thing works. I had watched, like, sexual things online, like, maybe, like, porn or something. So, I kind of knew things. And then, like, talking to, like, my homegirls and stuff who were older, I kind of, like, asked them questions about how it was and i was finally like you know what i kind of want to i kind of want to do this thing okay ah this is 
so corny. <laughs> so, I remember one night my mom was at home. My her boyfriend, which is I hate her boyfriend to this day. He's so annoying to me. Like it's my child, it's my brother's dad. I cannot stand him. Ugh. My mom was home. She was my my mom has three floors to her house. It's like a, yeah. My room was on the first floor. I had a, I had a door to the back of my room, which was kind of cool because I could go. Well, I really couldn't go outside because my mom had like an alarm system. So every time the door opened, it would say door open. Then 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 10 p.m. Then then the door open. Door door closed. Like every time it opened and closed, like you know. So him and I had been texting. He was like, "I'm gonna come over," and I um and I don't know if that was the first time he had came over. I think he had already came over before, but it obviously wasn't during those times of the night. Like he came over during the day, like while my mom was home, and like she was outside playing basketball. My brother was walking we around upstairs on the couch just talking. Um, if I remember correctly, okay, so this night I don't know what had got into me. I don't know what we were talking about, but we won and stuff. And six. So. He's, I remember him. I don't remember everything clearly, but I know he was texting me, asking. We were kind of nervous. I was nervous, thinking that my mother was home, and he was kind of nervous too. So, my room was in the back of the house, and the alarm system was on. So I knew he was gonna come over. I I ended up taking the trash out before it was like nighttime, before I knew he was coming over. <laughs> and the reason I did that was because my mom had the alarm on. I don't know when she was gonna turn the alarm off. So what I did was I opened the door when I went to take the trash out. I left the door kind of open so like it wouldn't go off. I don't know what was wrong with the alarm system at the time, but usually like when you leave it open, it will stay, it'll stay like door open. But this time it didn't. So I was like, ooh, she wouldn't look great. This is amazing. So I leave the door open, take the trash out. I let him know, I'm like, you know, the door is open. I think the alarm is cool, it's, it's good. So I'm sitting, I keep going upstairs, you know, being nosy, tiptoeing, seeing what my mom is doing. But you know, you're still, you're still a kid and you're nervous because they're home. Usually kids wait till their parents are not home to be doing this type of stuff because this is just scary. My mom is Spanish. My mama used to whoop my butt so bad. Like, but sometimes I remember knowing I was going to get a whooping y'all. And what I would do is I would go ahead and put on like five pair of pants. So when she whipped me, like I couldn't feel it. So she would be like, ah, 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 ah. it didn't hurt sis. It did not hurt. <laughs> so, okay, we get to this. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm scared. We should not do this. I remember, I think he was already there, or at least going around the corner. And like the neighborhood that I lived in, everybody lived in. Like it was like the lit neighborhood. Like it was just, especially during the summertime, in my neighborhood was lit. It was so lit. All the kids would be outside riding their bikes. All the cute boys lived in my neighborhood. All the bad girls lived in my neighborhood. Or if they didn't live in my neighborhood, they lived in the street. So it was either, it was my neighborhood, it was Moss Creek, it was Highland Creek, or it was, um skybrook it was three different neighborhoods um but yeah so i was i got scared i remember and i was like no I don't come but he was already there so i'm kind of feeling bad and you know when you're young and you're in love and stuff you just think with your you think with your emotions you don't think with your mind okay so what happened was he i was like don't come and then i was like you know what just come 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 so he comes he sneaks in the back door y'all i'm so scared out of my mind Meanwhile, I don't know what I'm doing. I know I made it like super awkward. It was on some stuff like he got to my house and I'm like, we knew what we were about to do, like because we had planned to do it. But it was just weird how it happened in my opinion. So we get there, we're in my room, I'm kinda like, you know, walking around just trying to be cute. I had had on like some cute little I don't know what I had on, but I was feeling cute. I put on some lip gloss, I had on some cool earrings. I don't know. But like I'm looking at the door. I didn't, I didn't lock the door, I don't think, to my room. I um I left it cracked because I feel like when you lock it, it just looks suspicious. It comes in the room. I remember it's laying down. And we didn't get busy right away. Like, we talked about some stuff. Like, it was not any peer pressure at all. I wanted to do it just as much as he did. And that was probably the worst experience of my life because I didn't know what I was doing. But, like, after I did it, I felt so wrong. I felt like I was, like... I felt grown. I was like, oh, look at me. Na, 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 na. And um, I don't think that I had told anybody. Or let me lie, let me not lie. My best friend in high school's name was Miriam, so I told her. Meanwhile, my mom's upstairs the whole time. My mom never found out then. She found out. I don't know how she found out, but she found out eventually. I don't know. Because like I run my mouth too much. So that's so 
I kind of probably got myself in trouble. I want to ask my mom how I got, how she found out, but I don't know. That'll be another video. So the sexual experience, I'm not going to really like go into details because sex is sex, okay? <laughs> but basically, yeah, he, he snuck in the house. We did that. We talked. And like, I, we was good. It was not, no, nothing. Like, you know how when you're younger, you feel like peer pressure to do it. And if you don't, like, he's not going to want to talk to you anymore. And like, when if you do do it, like, he's never going to talk to you again. No, him and I was still cool after that. I mean, it was a little bit awkward and stuff because I don't know if we were together. Like, he was still talking to other people. But like, I was in love with him, y'all. I was in love with him. And at that time, you don't really understand. You're like, why? Like, does he want to talk to people? Like, we done had groups. Like, we're together all the time. Well, not, you know what? We weren't together all, all the time because, like, I told y'all my mama was super strict. So, I couldn't, like, go anywhere. Like, he would want to pick me up or guys that I would want to date or, like, they were always older than me. I like my man older, if you can't tell. <laughs> but they would want to, like, pick me up and stuff. And my mom was not having that. That was dead. I don't remember how old I was when I went on my first date. Like, um, prom was kind of, like, my first date, I feel like. I had the best prom experience. I'll talk about that in a different story time. But yeah, we had sex. I wrote it. He, um, <laughs> let me just stop. Basically, yeah. So, mom, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. Um, mm -hmm. I think that when I have kids, I'm gonna be super like smart because I tried basically everything there is in the book to get across my parents, and sometimes I got caught. Sometimes I didn't, but I mostly got caught a lot just because I read my mouth too much, like I said. But there's a lot of times that I didn't. So, yeah. So, how many of y'all have had sex with your parents upstairs? They didn't know what you were doing. Most of my friends, I feel like, had sex when their parents were home. Yeah, so I was definitely crazy out of my mind. I'm sorry, because he's going to probably watch this, but. I don't know. Hey, I want to know about you guys' sexual experience. I want to know how it went, what you, what happened, how did it feel? Okay, how did it feel for me? I mean, it hurt a little. I mean, I mean, when you're first time having sex, you don't know what you're doing. It's the first time something is going up inside of you that has no business going inside of you. So I don't really remember like the full details. I just remember being nasty. I'm joking. I was, I wasn't nasty because I didn't know what I was doing. You don't want to catch me now though because my man is getting it. <laughs> um, it's crazy. Um, so, basically, that was the first time I lost my virginity. AC snuck in the house. He snuck out. My mom didn't find out. But you know when you do something you have no business doing, like you just feel so guilty. I remember when I was here, that being glass of milk. Hey mom, what's your How you doing? I'm about to, you know, I'm about to go to bed. Do you need, do you need me to wash the dishes? Do you need me to do anything? Like, do you need me to do anything for my brother? Go check on, like, anything. I could, gosh, you know, like, guilty conscience. But, yeah. I want to know about you guys' sexual experience. I want to know how you did it. Did you sneak? Did you do it with your mama at home? Did you have to go somewhere? Did you have to get picked up? So, comment down below your experience and let me know. And, yeah. This should be interesting. And any, I've, I've had, had, I've had like a crazy life. I've had a lot of fun experiences that I would like to share with you all. So if you guys want to know some more stuff, some more hear about some more story times, also let me know. Comment down below. Do not forget to subscribe. And yeah, Mwah! love you guys.